Starting a new series here called Darklands. For our channel, anyway. Alright, this is one of our favorite uh, RPGs from the 1990, early 1990s, I think it was. We do own a hard copy of the game, uh, but we haven't played it just, just for show pretty much because it's on, I believe, I think it's on three and a half inch floppies, but it might be also on five and a quarter, so the, ones, the bigger ones. New Kickstarter, here we go. Um, so yeah, it's so definitely one of our favorite RPGs. A hidden gem, definitely. But anyway, let's, uh, let's create a new world here. So I forget how to turn the sound off. When I do that, I probably will. Alright, so we're going to start here by getting a party. So what we want to do is we want to create a character here. And uh, definitely one of my favorite character creation um, you know, setups in a game. Definitely. I love the way it does this, uh, guy named Polar Dash calls it the Cherry, Cherry Cola, uh, method here. <laughs> but anyway, let's, uh, let's start by creating a character here. So, we will be a man here. We'll select a new name. Call this one Broham after my dog Brody. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, let's see here, we do have uh, this game, all the printouts of it, uh, uh, like the hint books and the everything, well, guides and everything printed out. Ah, uh, here we go. Game options, huh? Okay, let's go to that first. Never mind, I thought that was going to allow us to turn the sound off, but... Alright, let's see here. But, uh, we don't have it. I don't know where it is. If it's here in this in this office, or we might have it in one of our other offices. Uh, we'll have to check and see. But we'll find it as the series goes on. But we were watching some videos on it on YouTube, but No Fair Fight is a good series on it. And, uh... So does uh, the original one we watched it was Polar Dash on uh, it was several years ago on uh, maybe like seven or eight years ago now at least on uh, YouTube. That was one of the first series we ever watched on YouTube, and uh, then No Fair Fight did one I think five years ago or so. All right, 
So let's see here. So we will begin our childhood here. So as you can see, we got a bunch of stats here. And as we pick different, you know, basically what type of family they came from, the ability all the way down to Royal Commoners, it changes the stats here um, that we're going to get each level. Now the first number you see here is the number we get right away. I think we get that number right away. And then, so it depends upon what you pick, what stats are going to be increased. Um, and then you get all these different other things. Edge weapon. these are all your weapons. These are all your alchemy and religious stuff, uh, language stuff, reading and writing skills. And then you have your healing, artificing, you know, with, uh, picking locks, that kind of stuff. Uh, stealth, uh, streetwise, which is, you know, how well you track with people on the streets. Uh, ride skill, which comes in, for instance, in a few quests. And woodwise, which is how well you interact with animals and the nature and stuff like that. So, um, our first character, we're gonna make our leader. So we want to, so we want him to have. Uh, oh, these base, are your base stats right here. Your endurance and strength are pretty much set. They don't really ever increase or decrease. So what you get is what you get. Um, your endurance, once you hit zero, you'll pass out. Um, and then your strength, once that hits zero, you'll die. So um, you don't never want your strength, obviously, to hit zero. Because um, that will kill off the character. And the characters do age in this. As you can see, there's an age thing here. And they will deteriorate in certain skills, such as strength and endurance. So you want to set those just about as high as possible. Um, percept your agility, perception, intelligence, uh, charisma. And uh, these are the total points and stuff like that. So, Alright, so let's let's decide what we're going to do here. First. So first we want to make a character who's going to be like kind of the party leader. So you want the charisma to be high. So we don't, we don't, the ability maybe not, but um, let's see what we got here. Strength 12. So I think what we're going to do is we might go with the country crafts family. So for now, um, we also want it to be strong in um, language skills here too. So I think that's a good mix right there. Okay, so now what we do is well, we have to change the attributes here. So we're going to put pump these up, um, and you can see our cherry cola there is going down. Um, so it's one point up until like 29 and then once you hit 30 it'll take two skill points to increase it for everyone so we're going to get this up to 40 it's as high as you can go do the same thing with this okay and then we're going to dump a bunch into charisma get at least up to 20 because every 10 increments it makes a big difference in it. Um, probably probably add a little bit to, let's see, perception. Uh, probably a little bit more in agility. And then perception. A little bit in intelligence. You, don't want, you want it to be semi-intelligent. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Alright. Uh, so we'll go with that. Alright, so now here's where we get to figure out the application. So he's 15 years old, and it's time to find an application, uh, an occupation for him. So, this is where we're going to look at our speak common, speak Latin, well not speak Latin, so speak common and streetwise. So we're going to see, look at those stats. Uh, let's see here, so, three, six, peddler. So, you get skills basically through peddling, you know, stuff. Um, Streetwise. Yeah, I think this might be the best thing. So, we're going to go with Peddler. Alright. Um, we'll probably go one more. And was, I think uh, No Fair Fight there stopped at 20 right there, but we're going to. I don't know, maybe we should go one more. Um,
Yeah, I kind of want to go one more. And we'll stop here. So, I, th I think we're going to go with maybe... Let's see here. We'll go with local trader here, I think. That helps with his artificing skill, too. Well, no, it doesn't, actually. But local trader, I think, is good. I think we'll stop there. Um, oh, oh, you know what? We have to kill the character. We forgot to do something. <laughs> we forgot to do something very important. And I'll tell you, basically, I forgot to, I got to apply the extra points I had here, so. Let's uh, return to game. Okay. Great character. Sorry about that. Um, begin childhood. And we picked town trades, I think it was. Or was it country crafts? Yeah, it was country crafts. No, it was town trades. Yeah, because there's no skills in there. Yeah, there you go. And then... Alright, so... Let's just take us a second here. And again, I apologize if it's loud, because there's no, like, settings in this game for the music. It's either all or none, so we will figure out, once we get to the main screen over here, once we start our adventure, how to get rid of everything. So I apologize if it's a little bit loud. Or a lot loud. Okay, so charisma. Way to... Oh yeah, we gotta change the name to it and give it the right name. Alright, so Broham. It's been a while since we've played the game, so bear with us. Okay. Uh, childhood. Maybe we want it to... Yeah, time trades. Okay, so these definitely we're gonna push up the four here. At least this one up to 40. Maybe we won't go quite up to 40 with this one. Okay. Um, charisma. This is good. And then a little bit of agility. Perception. Intelligence, anyway. There's a, there's a test, and the test, some of the tests you're going to take, just kind of look at the person with the lowest agility skill, so kind of want to make sure that that's like decent, and then we'll, we'll put the last two into charisma, why not? So 38 and 40, that's good. Okay, alright, so now, with the peddler, and I'll show you this, which is what we forgot to do. So now we have these points here to the right of the, looks like a time almost, to the minutes area there. Um, we need to apply those. We have 43 experience points to apply there. So let's uh, let's go to our speak common. Let's put all we can into that. And same thing with streetwise. These are how we interact with people. Um, purple. Now, here's an important part too. The edge weapons. Uh, whatever your highest edge weapon skill is, that's what you'll get for a, uh, a weapon. So because like bows and uh, 
crossbows and stuff like that. This is for bows, this is for crossbows, missile weapons. Uh, cross, they're so expensive. Let's let's make that our highest skill if we can. Yeah. So we won't put any into that. Um, so just do that one weapon there. And these will, will increase as we go, so we're not going to really put any points into those. Um, put a couple into virtuous. One into religion. He won't be our alchemist, but let's see. Um, I might put a hit artificing skill. Yeah. Let's, let's make that a little higher. Uh, what the heck? We'll put a few into ride. This isn't bad for Woodwise. We could make him the uh, the Woodwise person too. Yeah, why not? Because we can't, we want to try to break all these different skills up between four characters. So what else can we do? Uh, Lacking isn't so important. Read and write. Uh, maybe. We We'll put a few in stealth. We'll put this last couple in stealth. We're actually, healing. Let's let's put the last couple in healing. That way, they have some minimal healing skills anyway. Okay. All right. So begin adventuring. And I would I am gonna stop at twenty. I'm not gonna go up any higher than that. So we'll keep our. If that doesn't work out, we can always start over later. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take Broham. And we're going to add him to the party. And let's see here. We're going to add other characters to the party. And we're doing this. For, eh, those are pretty good colors for him. Um, although I want to change the heraldry here. What do we want Brody? He's a dog. We'll, we'll give him that one. It kind of looks like a little bit like a dog. And... He's the leader. I think you can change that part of it too. Uh, I mean, the uh, what shows up on the board here. I did uh, so that's no problem. Okay. Uh, where was that character image? I don't know where that went. And this is that, that that's a paper. Paper, not a paper mache, but a paper whatever thing they call it for the cutout. Just shows the shit when it, So it had, he has no armor on now, so that's why it's all blank. But as he equips armor, he gets weapons. Yeah. Anyway. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guys, we're gonna add them to the party. These are pre-equipped characters. We're going to take all their stuff. Say they have armor and stuff. We're going to take all their stuff, basically. And give it to the character we're keeping here. You just basically drag it over. And then we're just going to basically... We're going to get rid of the characters here. Okay, come through. So that way we have some starting armor for our party. And uh, D Forte um, on uh, Twitch, D F O R T A E on Twitch and on YouTube does a lot of great RP, uh, old school RPGs, and he did a great review of this game, like a I think close to an hour review of this game. Excellent, excellent. There's so much in this game that's good. It does have its weak points too, which could be improved. But despite all that, it's a, it is a it's a great game. Uh, outside of that, probably like I said, probably my favorite RPG. But we did get a crossbow. Uh, so now we get some potions here from this guy. So the potions, I think, for the most part, we're gonna sell for now just to get money. At least some of them, if not all of them. Right, cool. Coral's very nice. Oops. Uh, 
I forget how to do all of them at once. Is it that way? Yeah. Just hit shift and you get rid of all of them at once. And uh, there's one more character. Let's see here. Uh, we started the chip. Okay, good. Alright, uh, so Gretchen, we're gonna. Real sensitive. Okay. Okay, so Gretch, Gretchen right there will kill the character. Gunther will kill him. And Hans will kill him. Yeah, I should have changed Brody's uh family name or whatever, so that's fine. Actually, no, I did. I did. Okay, uh, so at the party. And we'll take this guy's uh, stuff. He has some really good armor. And a military folio. Okay, excellent. Alright. Give him some nice armor to start with, um, since he is going to be our. Hmm, actually, I'm not. We won't do that yet. We'll make our party first and see what armors and weapons they do get. So we'll create. So he. So Ebhard, Broham. Broham is our um, party leader. He's got the highest charisma. He's also going to be our uh, woodwise person, probably. Okay. All right. Now we'll create another character. All right. So yeah, we probably should have changed the family name there too, but that's okay. Yeah. So new name. So begin childhood. All right. So now I think we're gonna do a uh, probably like a healer type character, which will be me. So we want healer slash. Um, so in here, this game doesn't use magic. It uses uh, what we call the saint system, which are different saints like from the Catholic Church. Which you can you can activate to do different things, but you need a um, a religious a religion skill there in doing that, uh, and virtue. I think religion is the one mainly for the saints, and then um, we'll make him a slash healer maybe. I'm not sure. Um, we also have to do like a tank type character, and we're going to do somebody who's strong in alchemy, so they can make potions. Um, so that's, you can kind of use the potions for to uh, they have various powers. They kind of work like uh, a little bit like spells, I guess, and um, kind of like buffs. The guy who makes buffs pretty much. It's gonna be that. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got here. Give me one second. So, 
Let's look and see. Not the highest religion. And speak Latin. It's gonna be good to that too, I think. Which basically nobility or wealthy urban family. healing skill so um I wanna go with nobility just because it gives us a little bit of speak Latin too and a little bit of virtue. So yeah let's go with nobility. Here we go. Probably do a similar build we'll go like 38. And now uh, these will change a little bit depending upon what we get for skills. I don't know if you saw, I don't know if uh, Broham's changed a little bit, but they may have adjusted up or a little up or down a little bit. So that's another thing to consider when you're looking at these. So let's see here. Um, intelligence we want pretty high. So I think it's better more more important for the alchemist, but. Charisma. Charisma, you definitely want your alchemist to have a little bit of that. So they, when they interact with some of the uh, alchemists in the game in the different cities, because a lot of the alchemists in different cities are really uh, pains in the butts to deal with sometimes. But let's make sure we get agility up to at least 15. Put a little bit of perception, I guess. Um, charisma. Maybe a little bit helps, I guess. So that's pretty good for what we need. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so uh, done changing that. All right, so let's check and see what we want here. Um, so I'm guessing that the student is pretty good. Three and four. Oh yeah, novice, monk, nun. That's pretty good for the healing too. Oblate. That's kind of. That's better for the religion. Actually, no, better for the. Uh, the virtue is just too good though for this. I think we got to go with this one. So let's go with this. And uh, let's put most of our stuff. To definitely religion. Virtue. Speak Latin. And probably someone reading and writing, I think that's important. Um, healing. him to have a decent bow so we'll make him uh, be the bow guy so we will put the points into that I think you need to have at least 10 to be proficient so uh, I'm not gonna be able to put that in yeah well, I think with uh, Sneeves we're gonna go a little bit older we're gonna go to 25 just because the healing skill is good to have and the religion now can be to have a little higher so we'll make him a little bit older than, than Broham. Alright, so we get six points left. Uh, what two and ride, I guess. For a couple in stealth. And probably need a little bit of a little bit of skill, so let's put a little bit let's put a couple of be common there. Okay, so we're gonna give him another occupation. This will be the last one, so let's see here. So religion and virtue is what we're looking at here. So we want to keep on with the nun and stuff. F four and five, and then five extra. Ooh, this is not much, yeah, it's not as much in religion though. 
think we want to keep on with the nun nun. Let's see what the student is here. No, student. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do either the hermit or the monk, and the monk I think is more balanced. Monk and nun. So let's go with the monk. Let's go put him on religion. Certain saints only activate if you have a certain amount of religion and virtue, so that's why that's important. Uh, this is short by one for healer. Oh, well. 20 would have been nice. Alright, we got 10 more points. Let's put get some more speed common. One more in the bow there just to get him proficient in that. Actually, I think 20 might be proficient, so we're not gonna get close to that. Um, but that's fine. We'll just give 10 the bow so he that's his best weapon. And I guess we'll give him a I want to give him a little bit of alchemy. Oh yeah, speak Latin, that's what you want. So let's put the rest of the five and speak Latin. There we go. That's good to have there. Oh yeah, we could use plus or minus key to... Ah, uh, there you go. That's what we could have done before. Let's, um... What did we put it in? There we go. Let's make sure. Let's put... Let's take it out of this one. And put speak Latin. I think it's more important. There you go. Alright, so he's our, our healer. And, uh, that will be high enough. I Normally you get the healer up to, like, go to age 30 with the healer. Just because you can get this up to 30. And that's usually a good... It means you can heal more points. At a, when you stay at an inn or something. Alright, so there you go. But that's good. I think we're going to go with that. Alright, so let's add him to the party. Very cool. And he will get, I don't think he has, I don't know if he has it now, but let's check him out. Um, you, we're gonna get the Saints, which he does, St. Paul the Simple. And again, I have a whole book of this, what these are, what these do, because, um, um, so this one right here, so some of them, we're not gonna be able to activate, can we do it? Let's see. So, it gives a little description. Childlike and naive, Paul became a disciple at age of age 60. Restores lost strength and endurance. That's good. Can all the party discern more. So, we have a 30... Right now, we, we can use them. We have a 38% chance of success. Um, we gain these defined favor skills, which we can pump into them to increase the success. Um, right here, you can put more divine favor and less divine favor. Um, and we can, you know, pray for our different party members and stuff. So that's a that's a good saint to start with, because a lot of times you get saints you can't start with. So we can get more saints in, in visiting the churches and the cities too. So okay, so don't pray right now. Okay, good. And I don't think I don't know if we start start off with any uh, formulas. We don't have we don't really have any skills. Any alchemy enough alchemy skills. Okay, that's good. So we got two characters now. Alright, so let's create another character. Now we'll create our alchemist. So we do not forget. Alright, so we want to change the name here. Okay, so we will make mags our Siamese kitty. Thanks. 
Oops. Okay. All right, so be in child turn. All right, so let's see what alchemy skills are high at best here. I think Latin is good for this too. Either wealthy urban or nobility. Maybe wealthy urban just because we're nobility for thieves. But let's check the lat. Probably go with nobility just again for the lat skill. So yeah, I'll go with that. Alright, so. Attributes. We'll pump these up again. 38 and 40. I think our last character, our tank, is going to be 40 and 40, but we'll make these 38 and 40 just so we can pump skills and other stuff. Uh, so intelligence, we want the highest, so let's go. I'm tempted to put everything in intelligence just because we can get... Let's go 26 and then we put point and agility and put a few in charisma because that helps too with talking and stuff, so. Get rid of one here. Okay. okay. And, uh, I probably should look, when I go hover over this, to see how it changes the endurance and strength. Because we that may have gone down a little bit. I think it did when we picked different classes and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think it did. Did not check this, so definitely with our fighter, we're gonna have the tank, and we're gonna have to make sure that we put in something that's gonna increase our strength and not decrease it. So, again, it's been a little while since we've played this game, so that's why it's gonna be like it is. Alright, so let's see. So now we wanna do, um, she wants to be our, what is it? Oh, our alchemist. Okay, so. So let's see where the best skills are on that. That's not bad. Traveling merchant. 3-3. Three, three. And then 5 and 5 for alchemy. But that might be our best. They're oblate there. 3, but it gives 6. Yeah, we're going to go with oblate. And then we're going to pump up our alchemy. as high as we can go with that. Um, let's see here. Probably should give a little bit of healing. And we'll give all we can there in healing. Um, religion. Yeah, might as well. It can be like a backup heal, backup uh, saint caster. Virtue, never a bad thing. And uh, we want definitely speak Latin as much as we can. When you're interacting with people at the university, read and write, I think, is important with that, too. And, um... Uh, I'm sure we want... Probably give somebody a little bit of stealth. Oh, yeah, we want to make check our weapons, too. Um... Let's give him impact weapons. Oh, we, we ran out. Hold on. Let's get, bring back the stealth. And let's go with impact weapons to be the highest. That way he gets a, like a mace for that or something like that. Alright, um, so we will make him a little bit, or her a little bit older. So, let's look at the alchemy skill here. And yeah, not much... One and four, one and six. That oblate might be the best one. I thought student did well too, but maybe not. So let's we'll go with oblate again. And alchemy will pump up to what we can. Eighteen. Uh, let's see here. Probably should get healing. 
little bit. That's, yeah, I'm tempted. Healing is never a bad thing. Uh, Latin again, we should definitely pump that up as high as we can go. Reading and writing. Religion up to 20 anyway. Put a couple in virtue. And then we'll put the rest in reading and writing. Okay. I'm really tempted to go make Magpie a little bit older. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I just really want to get her alchemy skill up a little bit. Yeah, it looks like the Oblate is definitely the best, our best bet here. Okay, so that way, there you go. And we'll put the, yeah, we'll make her the healer too, I guess. 20, that's good. Like I said, every 10 points, it makes a difference. Uh, let's see here. Uh, speak Latin. Yeah, we'll leave that there. 35, I think is good. Um, speak common. Let's put a point in that just to get it up to 10. Virtue. Like I said, virtue is never a bad thing. So she can be like a... She, can, she might be a, a good primary healer too. I mean primary, yeah, it's a saint person. Okay, so we don't want to make her any older than that. Okay, we have a Alright, so Schneeves. Let's look at his hair hair uh, Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that for Schneeves. Um Schneeves? Did they make Schneeves a female by accident? No, I don't think so. Mags, uh, at the party. Yeah, I think that's... Did we make her the healer? I don't know. Anyway, let's create a last character. Let's see here. Um... Select a new name. Actually, new. So we'll make Diesel. It's a good tank name, I think. And name Diesel D. Yes. Okay. So in childhood. So this is where we want to watch out for the strength and endurance. We want to make sure we create a character, maybe like a soldier of some sort or something that's going to keep our strength high. Because again, strength, endurance is when, you, when you're when you exhausted and you pass out. And then strength, if that goes down to nothing, you're dead. So we want to keep both as high as possible for a tank. So let's look at this. So we're going to want to have a lot of weapon skills for our... Um, tank, but we can develop a lot of that stuff as we go. We don't necessarily want to put a lot of points into that. Okay, so let's look here. So we kind of make like a tank, like a thief tank kind of thing. But, let's see here. We may put more into at least one weapon skill for the so we don't want no ability to know that. <laughs> so let's look at the strength. So a lot of these will start higher. So I think we're going to go... We'll go with Rural Commoner. That seems to give the best st starting thing to strengthen and endurance. Okay, Rural Commoner. Okay, so thank you for checking us out. Everyone was watching there. We appreciate it. This is one of our favorite games of all time. Um especially one of our favorite RPGs. So let's go up to... Let's get up to 40 here. And 40 here. Alright, now agility we want probably a little higher in it too, just because he's our frontline guy. Um, maybe a little bit of charisma, being a leader. 
intelligence doesn't have to be that high, but I'm tempted to go a little higher even in agility. And why don't we go to, th go to 30 agility? That's probably very good to do that. And uh, we'll put a little... Hmm, do we want to put perception in there too a little bit? And I guess so. I guess that's good enough. It's kind of high for agility. I'm going to take a little bit out of that. Well, like 24. Perception, we'll put that up to 20. And then we'll put the other ones, we'll put it back into. That yeah, will make it a little smarter, too. Okay, so now we're done changing that. Now, here's where we want to. So we started off at 40 and 40. That puts it up to 41 and 41. Labor does also. And peasant does also. Now, I think the skills we want to look at are artificing and maybe, uh, uh the Schneebs is the woodwise guy. I mean, um, uh, Broham is, so. Definitely want to maybe the stealth and the. Maybe streetwise, too, might, might make a good character like that. So let's take a look here. So let's look at a stealth here. Which is the best one for stealth? Recruit. Recruit might not be a bad thing. That gives some good good base weapon skills too. So that's going to add 8 automatically to the... Yeah, let's do that. Just so they, they start with some weapon skills. So let's go with this. Won't be as much for us to put in the other areas, but we won't have to then. Um... I'm going to probably give them a, him a bow, too, so let's get this up. There you go. Um, Alright, what else do we want here? Oh, the stealth, yeah. Put that up a little bit. Artificing, probably not bad either. A little bit. Point in riding. Wood-wise, put a bunch of wood-wise, I guess. Let's see, speed common might not be a bad thing. And then... I'm not going to put any in the base weapon skills yet. Um, do I want to? Again, this determines what type of weapon you get to start with. Could put a bunch of flails. That'll make it 14. Because we want to try to get one weapon skill of him up to 20, I think, so he's proficient in it, so. This might be, or do we want a throwing weapon? Hmm. I'm not sure what they get. I think they just give you knives for a throwing weapon if you get the high set. Let's let's just go with this. We'll go with this. Because we got an extra, I think a crossbow we can give him. And then we'll put, put these in crossbow, yeah. Missile. And then, how should we have six points? Give him some virtue, I guess. Virtue is always good to have. Certain checks. Alright, so we'll make him a little bit older. Alright, so soldier. Alright, ooh. Labor. Labor or peasant? So let's see. For stealth, six. Zero and six. That gives us a base of one for stealth. Six. I think we might go with this. It's not much for weapon skills in that, though. This gives a little bit of weapon skill in it, so maybe that is better. Yeah, the stealth that the labor gives us is only one anyway. So maybe we'll do that. Yeah, two and six forward rise. Yeah, let's go with this. Peasant. Alright, um. Put one one point here and just get up to five. Uh, let's see here. Stealth, we don't want to get that up. We'll do the artificing up a little bit. Wood wise. Why not? 
18 points left. Um, let's get the flail up to 20 just so we have one. He's proficient in one weapon. Uh, virtue. I'm gonna put three in virtue, why not? Maybe speak calm in a little bit. Again, I'm tempted. Yeah, I'll put it in healing just to get the healing up a little bit. Streetwise, yeah, probably not bad to have. Three more points here. Uh, yeah, what the heck? We'll put it, put it all in ride. All right, that should be pretty good. We'll, st we'll keep him at 25, age 25. We'll go to the next one. All right, so now we gotta. Okay, Magpie. We're gonna look at her heraldry there. Diesels will do his first, I guess. Would be a good tank. And a sword. Put the sword in hit that. So magpie. Oops. Very sensitive to Keish. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Okay, we got a good look at what they all are now. There you go. So Mags, she is our healer, so what's good to have for you? Probably the heart, let's give her that. And she's the female too. I think those are good ones to have. Um, so let's look, take a look at Broham, take a look at his stats there. Now 38 and 40, so it didn't increase or decrease. Um, Schneebs. 38 and 40, that's good. Magpie, 38 and 40. And Diesel should be 42 and 42. Okay, that's good. All right, so just to sum, let's see what, let's see if, uh, let's see what Magpie got for, uh, she should have got some formulas. Yeah, so she got some, some basic formulas, I think. Mystical number, that's pretty high. You may not be able to create this well. So this is an itching powder. It's always good to have, I think. Um, let's see what this one is. True Flight. Missile. This will help. Oil applied to missile weapons increases accuracy. It's still pretty high. So we may not be able to use these for a while. Let's see what this one is. So potions have different, varying degrees of uh, quality too. They're like low, medium, and high quality. Again, is in the book it describes, or one of the pamphlets it's that you get with the game, it describes all that stuff. And uh, I printed it all out into a notebook. I just gotta find it. If I can't find it for some reason, I'm just going uh, uh, game facts or something like that and find one but to use to re refer to. But this is a lower mystical number, so that this one we're probably gonna be able to create fairly soon, if not right away. Which is good because it's a healing potion. So it restores endurance, which is good. Not as good as restoring strength, but strength will also endurance will, will restore quicker over time. Uh, strength that's basically hit points that takes a little bit longer to. You'll get them back, but it'll take longer. And that's where age aging your characters comes in comes in handy. All right, um, we got me not handy but comes in uh, of value so you gotta get because everything in this game takes time staying at an inn traveling all that stuff you gotta try to minimize that as much as possible uh, if you want your characters to live long okay so i think we have our party ready um i wish i could change i'm gonna still see if i can change uh, uh is there a way to edit the character think so fortunately so I think I'm gonna be stuck with uh, herb hard for bro him that's okay I didn't change the uh, the nickname so that's okay we know it's bro him and he'll be the leader so he so just to summarize let's go over this real quick bro him Oh yeah, let's, we gotta put the equipment on. Let's put the equipment on here. 
as he has all the equipment. Um, so our tank, we're going to want to put the plate armor with. So let's bring that down to Diesel D. Uh, so you have your vest and legs. Um, our best weapon here. Let's hold on. We'll just do the armor first. Um, leather. It's probably going to be more for... Probably or hard. We'll give that. Maybe he'll keep that. Crossbow. We'll give to. Uh, let's get the heist. Let's see here. Let's get the highest missile weapon. I think Earhart does. Or Diesel D. We'll give it to Diesel D since he's our tank. Hard, we'll get you something better later. Okay, uh, so crossbow, we're gonna give that to. Oh, we get two crossbows, so we'll give one to Diesel D and we'll have Hard keep one. And then the corals, we'll give Diesel D some. Three. But seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good. All right, so he's got ten arrows for now. Ten bolts. Um, short sword. I think we need to give our best. So who's got the best edged weapon skill? So six for Erhard. Seven for Schneebs. Ten for Magpie. Wow. 11 for D. Yeah, we gotta give it to Diesel D again. Sorry, Mags, you got outranked by one there. But we'll be getting other, arm, other stuff later. Okay, so short side goes to Diesel. He's our tank, so he needs to really have that. Okay. So chainmail. Which I should have gave. No, I gave it to Diesel. Okay, right. Chainmail, I will give to Mags, our healer. I mean, our uh, alchemist. Should I give that to her? I don't know. We'll see. Actually, no. I'll give it. I'll give it to. I'll keep it with him. Uh, club. So, what's our next best weapon here? Fortunately, it's just a club. So, we're gonna give that to her. her. Oh, he'll keep that. Uh, brigandine armor or chainmail. So these are the legs of the leg chain legs. We'll give those to Mags. How should we get? How should we give them to Mags? And we'll keep them with her card. Uh, so now is the upper body. We want the vest. So brigandine or leather. We'll give Mags the brigandine. We'll let her card keep that. I know we haven't given Schneebs anything yet. Uh, Chair Wheelie. We'll give that to Schneebs, I guess. Is that legs we gave him, or, or did we give him the best? I think we gave him the best. Now we gave him the legs. Okay, so what is he? Okay, so he needs a vest. Hmm. Oh, chainmail. Um, I'll we'll give Schneebs the chainmail. That's why not. We may switch to I guess we'll give the Schneebs the full chain mail. Okay. And then I'll have him give that her ability to Magpie. Let's see how she got. <laughs> oh, she's got chain mail legs. We're gonna need best. It's a chair bully. Just let her try to keep it. Um, what's Diesel have? What did I give him? Oh, I didn't give it. I gave him the plate vest. He needs better legs. So, actually, let's, let's give him the. I don't, I don't think we had plate legs, so we'll give him. Chainmail. 
I think Mags had another set of chainmail there. Yeah. We'll give Diesel the chainmail. Sorry, Mags. And so now we need to give Mags a some kind of something for her legs. equip so the way you equip it is you basically just left click it and drag it over to where it says no armor and now she has a vest design and leather over here oh yeah we're gonna give our other weapon to somebody else our other uh, crossbow so diesel has one of the crossbows so who is the next best definitely not magpie I think it's going to be Broham. Yep. So he will keep the other. Okay, excellent. And I'm just going to get rid of what else we need. Okay, I'm going to keep him with all the weapons and stuff for now. I mean, all the. Uh, oh, military flail. Oh, wait a second. We're going to give the military flail to Diesel D. That is the best. Yeah, that's better I think so and we're gonna give oops we're gonna give take the sword back or actually what is what is his skill impact 11 for her card and 13 yeah yeah we don't, we don't have one uh, for the uh, flail there for diesel so yeah we'll give we'll give Shneev the leader there the sword the leader should always have a sword. That makes more sense. And our meat shield tank will get the military hammer. That makes more sense. Okay, so let's equip the rest of the stuff here. Alright, uh, so he is gonna... Oh, will give Sheems the club, I guess. Okay, so... And also, too, you want to keep stuff you want to keep near the top, because later on we're going to get some clothing, which doesn't sell when you start fighting some guys. And what we use the clothing as like a buffer in between the stuff we want to keep and stuff we don't want to keep. So that way, when you go to a shopkeeper, you basically take your, uh, you take, you, you take, you, you highlight way at the bottom, and then you hit sell, and then you just can leave it on sell, and it. It'll sell all the way up until it gets to a piece of clothing because the shopkeeper doesn't want that because it's worthless. But that kind of works as a buffer so you don't sell something that you own that you want to keep by accident. Because once it's sold, you can't get it back. Well, you can, but it's a lot more expensive. But eventually we'll sell some of this other the corals. We'll put up a little higher. Put all the potions in the bottom. And we'll put the weapon. I guess in the top here. There you go. Probably the armor is probably the most expensive. So that's stuff you definitely want to make sure you don't sell, or a very good weapon. Okay, so I think we're good here. Okay, for him, and then he doesn't have just to check. He doesn't have any formulas now. I think so. Or any saints now. And then Schneez. See what he was giving him. He's got the short bow. We need to get him some arrows because he doesn't have any arrows, but we'll equip the bow. And he had a 10. That's, I guess, decent enough. Yeah, because his is bad. Mags is not so good. His is his 11, but he's already got the crossbow, so. This is our second best bet for bows, I guess, for now. We'll probably get the other guys from Javelins. Because um, Javelins will train up the throwing skills, which are going to become important, especially like for Magpie the Alchemist, so she can throw potions later on. So we want to get that up higher, and then we'll get some better throwing weapons, stealing knives and stuff like that. But anyway, Schneeves, let's see. Let's put his armor on, because right now he's naked. Uh, Chainmail. Definitely gonna upgrade that club as soon as possible. Alright, 
Yes, so I think he's got everything equipped that he can. There you go. Alright, uh, let's see, so diesel, uh, magpie, sorry. I thought they would get weapons too, but they didn't. Maybe once we begin adventuring, we'll get other weapons too, but magpie. She will put her armor on. She gets a club, we'll put that. Alright, so she got a club too. Uh, and armor, I think that's all she's got right now. She, she got a few potions too, which is good. Alright, so she doesn't have, she doesn't have, yeah. So she doesn't have much. And then Diesel, our tank, is going to have the best of everything, or the best of what we have. Military flail, plate armor. Oh, there's two plate armors here. Hold on. We should probably give somebody else plate armor. Let's give it to Herbert, I guess. Oh, good. Okay, crossbow. Corals. I don't know if we have to. No, we don't have to do that. Uh, and chain. Oh, I get two military flails. Hold up. So, who else can get a flail? Uh, so, who's got the best? That's a flail. Hold on. Which is, we definitely want to get. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. So, it's a diesel D. The military flail, which is the flail right here. It's not the uh, hammer, which I thought it was military hammer. Military flail is also pretty good too. So, so he's got one, and who else has a high flail skill? Three? No, definitely not. Seven. That's not too bad. Well, it's not really that good. Okay, so we're gonna give Schneebs the flail, which I think I did already. So that'll be that'll be better than the club. sell later. Not gonna be worth much, but or if we want to increase our Im our impact skills, we can use that to in help increase. You can use cheaper weapons to help increase your skills. So, all right. So let's sh let's check out our characters fully now. So military flail, plate armor, chain. No shield now. You want to get shield, especially for the characters that aren't as good at army, but he's got decent armor. Crossbow, so he's our most decked out. She should be. Magpie. Let's just check and see. Yeah, these are all ones. Alright, so she's about as good as you're going to get. Bring your deed best. Chirp, chirp, wooly. Leg. Yeah, that's not bad. She's more flexible to move around, too. Which is good. Then we have Schneeves. Chain, and then no shield, short bow, military flail, yeah, he's got overall better weapon skills, by a little bit, maybe, tiny bit, I don't know, maybe not that much, um, his agility is 16, his agility is 15, so, okay. Alright, I guess we'll leave it like this for now. We may switch the chain mail to, eight, to Broham and give Schneebs the uh, other stuff. We'll see. Alright, so, but he's going to be probably doing more because he's got a, the impact weapon. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Remember that Broham is uh, a little bit younger too, so that's why his skills are a little bit lower. So comparably, they're probably similar, but I think Broham can deal with the leather armor for now. Um, so let's take check all the equipment here. Yeah, so he's just got one of each. Schneebs has got one of each. Okay, I just want to make sure nobody's got 
two things, two of one type of weapon or something. No. Yeah. I'm glad we had that extra military flail, though. That's going to come in handy. Okay. So, I think we're ready. I hope everything stayed there. Oh, God. I hope it stayed. Story continues. Please tell me all the characters are there. Oh, did I not save it? Oh, no. No! Ah, uh, so unfortunately... <laughs> all that I just did... I'm gonna have to do again, because I went back too far. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. It doesn't automatically save it. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna have to create a new world. Sorry, guy, guys. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just do it really quick. Anyway, I think only one person watched the first part of it. So if you're watching this a second time or on YouTube, I apologize. But oh man, we should have hit the begin, begin adventure, and I accidentally hit out of it. That's that's what happens with these old school games. A lot of them are unforgiving. So let's quickly do this. But that's okay in a way because we know how to do this quickly now. And uh, We'll be able to get Broham. Yeah, that, it's kind of better we do this. We can fix some stuff that we didn't do last time. So, Broham. I shall make it a. Uh, your name. I shall go Brody. And his nickname is Broham. Yeah, that's fine. This isn't going to be that bad. Um, and then Endurance. Again, childhood. He's a man. Okay, there you go. Uh, it's better to, to do this anyway. Alright, and now he wanted him to be... What was he? Wealthy Urban. No, he was our... Uh... <laughs> Drawing a blank now. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he was our. We wanted to speak common and stuff like that. Okay. So town trades. Yeah, town trades. Uh, all right, we'll get this up real quick. Not a biggie. Actually, that's gonna allow. This is gonna allow us to modify some skills there too. So that's not too bad. Just make the characters a little bit better. Okay, so there's that, and then we want to get agility up to 15. Charisma, we want to make the highest. Right there, I guess. Perception, we'll give a little bit more intelligence. I guess that's good right there, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now here. We want to pay attention to the recruit. We don't want to make him. I think we want to go peddler. Yeah, streetwise to become peddler. The local trader, which one? Let's go peddler, slightly better. I mean, local trader. Okay, and then here we'll do. Uh, speak common. We may go him a little bit older this time, too, just to even everybody out. Yeah, make everybody at least 25. And then streetwise. Always good when you're talking with people. Um, we put some more in woodwise, so we might as well. Uh, let's see here. 